Yeah, as well as being a coach trainer and an NLP master trainer and songwriter, I'm also an artist. This is one of my paintings. Um, I really love painting fish. I'm Pisces myself, maybe it's because of that. And this is a fish that I, I've invented myself. And the paintings that I really love doing mostly are faces, and I do give a lot of work and a lot of, a lot of um, intention, a lot of time to the eyes. And this was my idea with these fish as well, to paint the eyes in such a way that you feel drawn into the depth of the eyes. As well as this is one of my special paintings, I have sand and stones and shells also impregnated into, the, into this painting. It's two meters by two meters. I love painting, big paintings. A friend of mine said, um, an artist should never paint um, a painting that's smaller, smaller than his bed. So my paintings are usually pretty big. Being a very creative person, um, I try to do as many things as I can that have to do with creating or, or doing something that has to do with art. So I write also. Um, I've written four books. These books are based in Australia. The legends of the Australian Aborigines are embedded in the books. And they're all stories about personal growth. The first one is called The Girl with Nine Toes. It's a story about the Prime Minister of Australia who meets an Aborigine spirit that teaches him to change his political, political views and how he runs his government. The second one has to do with health. It's called Emotio Believes in You. It's about a child who has cancer. Maybe that goes back to my memories with this young girl that taught me NLP when I was 16. And how thoughts and feelings can um, release a self-healing process. The third book is called um, The Body Reader. This is an exception to the rule what I normally write. NLP is embedded, embedded in this book also. But the pr protagonist or the hero is a female detective with red hair. There's one meter from 50 high. By the way, my wife is 150 <laughs> uh, centimeters high and she has red hair. And she uses NLP to, to solve um, the, the crimes that she's confronted with. The fourth book, the last book, is a very special book for me. It's called Japara. It's about a man who loses his um, courage and finds his courage again through a relationship and through the Australian Aborigines. So all books are in English and German and are really worth reading. You can order them in a normal bookshop or with Amazon. I recommend them to you. If you want to learn something about NLP and how it works in real life, these books are good.